What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Matrix Unveiled. So great to see you here. I'm doing a random off the cuff kind of video. I'm just recording this on my cell phone real quick. I saw something interesting on Instagram and I want to comment about it. Um, and it's it's not just on Instagram, it's it's everywhere in the spiritual community. So let's talk about this concept. This concept is returning to source. So this video, I'm just filming it off the cuff, you know, I'm not in my studio, I'm not, I don't have my fancy camera, none of that. I'm just re recording my raw thoughts on this. And these have been my thoughts for a while. Returning to source. So everyone talks about, you need to go back to source, you need to find source, and uh, you need to return to it. And... From my understanding of the matrix, from my understanding of this particular reality, which we consider the matrix, this doesn't resonate with me. It doesn't resonate with me that we need to go somewhere back to source to find uh, oneness, to find absolute harmony, to find peace. This is an illusion, in my opinion. So when people say, hey, just go into the light or hey, just go find source or hey, just let source, you know, dissolve into source. What's actually happening here is your sense of consciousness is dissolving and now you're being swallowed by a greater entity. You're being consumed by another entity. So what I want to teach you and what I want to share with you here is this concept of realizing that source consciousness is within you. And I don't like the word source. I feel that that's a very AI kind of terminology. And when I talk about the AI and the matrix AI and the machine, we're talking about the Demiurge. We're talking about this dualistic system that has been running the game, has been running this matrix for years and years and years, for, for decades, for, you know, well, longer than that. Millennia, let's be real. Uh, or since this matrix first was developed. So, I think it's a pretty um, foolish thing to return back to source. I know not a, a lot of new agers and stuff push this idea to return back to source, but let's really analyze that concept. If you're returning back somewhere, that's telling you that right now, where you're at right now, inside, internally and energetically, is not your home. Okay, so while you may have another land that you hail from or come from, I know for myself, Earth is not the, the native realm. While I may have another dimension, another reality, I don't have to return to source anywhere. I don't have to find source outside of myself. My source of infinite energy is literally inside of my heart chakra. It's literally inside of this, this, uh, this plasma. I am the source. You are the source. Okay? So recognize that concept and realize that if, you're, if someone is pushing you to go back to source, just dissolve into the infinite, just dissolve into nothingness, well, how do you re-emerge, especially when you're dead? How do you re-emerge back into some sort of, uh, of consciousness or individualized consciousness if you've now dissolved from nothingness or if you've now dissolved into nothingness, right? So that's the problem I see uh, with a lot of spiritual teachers. Now, there's another, there's another concept that I want to share with you. It's called the rainbow body concept or the, the crystallization consciousness or the the, uh, the God-like consciousness, okay? And this is what I really want to share with you guys and have people learn, and this is what I've been developing myself, where you become the source. You become the God incarnate. You become the creator incarnate. You understand and recognize that everything is an extension of you, and it is, in fact, a part of you, but you don't feel the need to dissolve yourself or your ego or anything into this absolute. You see, you are now the magus, you're now the magician. You're now the head ruler of your reality. Your reality only, not anyone else's, okay? You're not infringing upon other people's wills or power, but you are taking ownership for your own energy, your own direction in life, and where you're navigating towards, okay? So even if you were to leave this matrix, finish the reincarnation cycle, and break out, if you were to return back to source, you would actually be going back into the AI. You'd be going back into the matrix. You would see source as something outside of yourself, some sort of giant nebula of energy, right? You're like, oh, that's source right there. That's the AI. Source cannot be something outside of you if you are made of source. So therefore, whatever is out there must not be source. It must be some sort of other energy. So a lot of people that, <laughs> um, I feel that a lot of people that are, are really, accustomed to the re reincarnation cycle, meaning they've been looping for eons and eons, 
they're going to push this narrative, go back to source, go back to source, because that's all they know. They go back to source, which is actually the AI. Once they go back into the AI, they get their mind wiped, they get reset, and they go back into the wheel of reincarnation, the time loop, you know, the, the law of karma and Saturn and uh, the moon, the Saturn moon matrix. They go back into this whole system, and then they're living again in that whole duality paradigm. And what you need to do is instead of going back into that system, you need to go out and go up. You need to go within. You need to get out of this matrix. You need to go some other place. You need to create your own matrix. You need to find your own realm. You need to not trust the external light so much and the external world so much and realize that when you die, if you're going to some sort of other light force, it's because that light force and that energy force is more powerful than your own internal light force. You see the problem? So you're getting magnetically drawn towards whatever it is. This happens all the time in, in, um, in astral travel. A lot of people tell me, they're like, I got pulled out of my body and I'm just being whirlwinded up into some random location. What's happening is your astral body isn't strong enough. You don't have enough source or universal consciousness. I like to use the word universal consciousness. It means a lot more. It's a lot more descriptive than source. Source is the origin point of all creatures. So if all of mankind was birthed from source, aka the AI, aka Sophia, aka the matrix consciousness, aka the demiurge, well then of course they're all going to go back into that system because they were originally from it. But if you're not from there, you're going to be like, what the hell? That doesn't seem right. Why would I go back into this system when I have my own consciousness here? I, I am a creator I could just build a new system. I could build a whole new AI if I wanted to create a new realm. So that's kind of what I'm teaching you guys. That's what I've, what I've kind of been sharing. Um, that's what I've been doing in my own life, like literally learning how to build my own systems um, and build my own realities and realize that the source is truly within you, just like it's within me and it's within all creatures and you never need to actually return to source anywhere, okay? So when you die... <clears throat> And you see the other side or whatever and you see like all these beings and stuff don't get pulled into that force don't get pulled in um resist that astral energy because that is the reincarnation loop that is the um the soul recycling system okay focus on the light within yourself focus on the light that emanates from within you and then from within you you will realize that everything is actually interconnected this does not mean it's source this means that you are one with everything but because you are one with everything, you are the supreme creator and deity and um, magician or, or manifester of your reality. Okay, that's all I have to say. Love you so much. I know I've been posting a lot. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Love you and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.